Jeff Lankman talking right now with the Carroll Boys and Shuttle Hurdle Relay team down here at the state meet today. We'll start off with Corey Fennell. We'll open things up today. Corey, how did you feel like things went? Uh, you know, Lamar's and Grinnell together like on the front well, stretch on the anchor. Not running our best. Lamar's with Paulson, but Anderson on the anchor for well. Grinnell. How did you feel like you run? Did you get out of the blocks pretty good today? Yeah, probably one of the best times I've had. But, uh... Just couldn't keep up with all the other 60 guys. Flat pretty, qu pretty quick heat today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did you feel like you got a smooth run in? Uh, I think I banged a hurdle on the way down, but other than that, it's pretty good. Talk about your race. What were you thinking as you were going through there during your portion? Uh, I was just, all I was thinking is keep up with winter set and um, Mount Pleasant. Now we go to heat number five. Thinking, uh, Boyd, How did you, what back. were you thinking as you watched the rest of the guys run four. today? Washington. I was just hoping that we could keep up and get a good time. Shuttle hurdle relay. Well, Corey, I appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. Yep. Let's All move over now to Addison Ross. And Addison, how did you feel like things went for you today? Uh, our team did all right. I think my teammates did, but my leg was definitely the slowest and probably my slowest of the year. Uh, I got off rhythm in the middle, kind of. My start was pretty good. I got out decent. And once I messed up one hurdle, my balance is off and my steps weren't long enough, so I was overstriding and doing really slow. Any idea about how many hurdles into it before that happened today? About four or five. It was about right in the middle. About right in the middle. Never really able to kind of reestablish yourself? No. Once I got off, I was just overstriding, and then I was going, going really slow. You guys sitting in fourth at that time. What were you watching and thinking as the other two guys were finishing up today? I was hoping they could catch a guy, but I knew that I didn't put him in a very good position at all. What will you take out of today's race? Uh, it's been fun. It's my first time down here at State. Uh, and my last time, obviously, because I'm a senior. So I was a little nervous, but it was a good experience. Well, Addison, appreciate you joining us here today. Thanks. Let's move over now to Peter Stevens. And, Peter, how did you think like when things went today? Well, I think thing, things went pretty good. It obviously wasn't our best time, about two seconds slower than our best time, which we ran in districts last week. And uh, I feel like we did good for being at State, but obviously not our best. A lot of confidence coming in after the run in districts? Yeah, I've, we were pretty good. I know we were sitting in about 12th in the state coming in, and I knew our my personal goal was for our team to break the top 10 and hopefully place in, in that area. So, and I felt like we, we could have done it, but obviously we, we felt good. Talk about how you felt like as you were running. Did you feel like you ran a pretty good race? I felt pretty smooth after the first couple of hurdles, right after the halfway point. I know I hit a few pretty solid Washington ones. I think I actually Hill. flipped one hurdle, so it's I had a few solid contact ones. It I felt like it didn't Boone. really slow me down a whole lot, but still. Washington. What are you most looking forward to watching the rest of the state Drake track meet? Uh, hopefully watching a lot of more hurdles, which is what I run, try and get some tickets out of Peter, appreciate you joining us today. Congratulations on a good season. Let's move over now to Peyton Renning. And Peyton, how did you feel like you went today running the anchor? I felt pretty good, but, you know, I think sometimes things just don't work out. But that wind was pushing me quite a bit, and I kept, I was clipping the, my front leg, front foot with them. And it was just, I think it was pushing me a little too much. You know, you kind of want that uh, tail wind for you to push you a little bit, but not a whole lot. I was going to say, if wind picked up as the day's going on, has it affected you that much then? I don't think it might have sped me up, but maybe a little too much because I was clip, again, clipping that first, my lead leg with a hurdle, but it didn't slow me down any. It was just kind of a nuisance to have. Where did you feel your best during your part of the race today? Was it early or, or late? Um, right about the middle is when I felt like I turned it on and just tried to catch up with those guys in the front. And so, right middle to the end, half of the what will you take of it today uh, into the little tent? Uh, just knowing that if the wind is blowing, try not to run too fast with, the, with it and just let the, kind of let the wind push you, the wind push you too far and just try and keep up with those faster guys. I know I run with uh, Dane Cruz again, so they'll be pushing me into there, so I'll try and keep up with that. Well, guys, I tell you what, congratulations on a great season getting out to state track. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks.